So on the 26th of August 2023, Philip and Elaine Marco died after becoming trapped in the car when Queen's Drive flooded. Now, if you remember back, uh, I mean, that night I worked was absolutely horrendous. Some of the worst flooding I have ever seen. So the couple drove down and I think the car was a Tesla and the car just locked up and they were trapped inside. And despite efforts by sort of uh, passers-by, uh, they weren't to be saved. Now... I've always wanted to do a video on it because I thought it was quite interesting. However, recently, what sparked me interest in doing a video is they have put temporary flood barriers in place. So they want to install permanent flood barriers in this road. But the parts, they said they're going to take about three to four months. So, yeah, the road's been shut for six months now. And um, Liverpool City Council have been given permission to shut it until November 2024, if needs be. But, yeah, so they've installed temporary barriers and what they've done is they've put uh, sensors in the top of the bridge apparently and apparently in the gullies as well I'm assuming in, in the in the road I don't know and I just thought yeah I think if I can access the road um, I can make a little video out of it and just see what they've installed because apparently the drainage thing is still an issue the drainage will never be sorted the road will always be liable to flood and so I just thought you know what um, head down there and we'll see what's what also as I was researching this video as well, I did find out some shocking information on one of the occupants of the car, should we say. So stay tuned for the end of the video and I shall tell you all about it. Right, so we're going to start at the junction of North Mossley Road and Queen's Drive. Now I've just been up the other end and I've just seen a gate wide open. So I thought I'll just come down the other end just to see if there's anyone working here but I doubt it, I don't know so I'm going to see what it's like down here first I was going to plan to jump over this little gate here but um, there's no one working here I'll just go back up, go through the hole simple as so we've got a matrix sign there for when it opens Right, can we get in here? I wonder. And we got another temporary barrier as well. Looks like a solar panel, is it? Yeah. Power on. See, look at that. Well, from what I can see there, it looks like you can just go through. So, I think what we'll do, we'll go and have a nose down, eh? I mean, the fence is in a bit of a state, like. Yeah, that's not stopping no one there. Looks like it's actually flooded as well. Yeah. So the signs are still up as well. Road reliable to flooding. Um, right, I just want to see. Why do people just, you know, you're walking out with a freaking camera. People just stop and stare at you. <sighs> right, anyway, I've just found me, me way in, so I was going to go down the other end. But I think what I'll do is I'll just skate around this little hole here. Because as you can see, this ain't stopping anyone. So from what I can gather, that the flood barriers that they want to put in place, the parts are going to take quite a long time to get sort of get made and stuff so and um, they've got temporary ones up for now which i don't know how effective they'd be but yeah it's uh so it's been closed now for the last let me see seven months or something like that so i thought you know what ahead of this opening i thought i'll i'll drop down here and i'll just see what's uh, actually been done because from what i've been told 
the, the actual drainage for the road hasn't been sorted, hence why they've put those barriers in. So, um, yeah, interesting. Uh, I don't think it'll ever be sorted, the drainage, like so. Um, I just thought, yeah, pop down and have a little look, see what's going on. So the road anyway, I mean, it's going to continue to flood regardless. So these barriers, I don't know. I did watch a promo video the other day on recent works and what they've done to this bridge. And it made me laugh because it said, you know, when it floods, the centres and the gullies, uh, the barriers will come down and it'll stop cars and individuals from coming down. But that barrier ain't going to stop any individual coming down here with a dinghy. Well, we're here on Queen's Drive this morning, literally under the bridge uh, under Brydale Road and the West Coast Main Line, the lowest point of Queen's Drive, because following the, the tragic instances of the flooding back in August, we're actually here to test out some of the detailed equipment that we've installed to prevent those instances happening again. So the council has installed a couple of sensors to detect standing water and another four sensors within the gullies to detect the amount of water flow into the drains. So we can make sure that in instances of heavy rainfall, it's flagged up and we can take the right actions. Some of the things that we've got include flashing warning signs and automatic barriers to prevent any vehicles or any individuals coming down in the event of a flood and look forward in the coming weeks and months to reopening the road as well. Right, so we are just coming up to the spot now where the two people were killed. I remember seeing some uh, footage and some pictures in the Liverpool Echo of uh, the water literally gushing over the edge of that bridge there. And uh, obviously the car locked up. I think it was a Tesla and uh, they were just, just couldn't save them basically so right i don't know the exact spot but it's somewhere around here apologies for any wind noise as well little fun fact for you as well while i'm here you see that bridge now i did not know that that bridge is a road bridge i thought it was a railway but no this is the railway here that is the road bridge um right yo so where are these sensors they put in the walls? Are they here? I think actually this is the spot where they got killed here. 15 foot of water apparently. I think, I think there's one there. Yeah, so. Yeah, I think that's one of the sensors. Uh, they said they put them in the gully as well. There's another one there. Now where are they in the gully? Because if they're in the gully, they'd be in the floor. Are they in these pipes I wonder? I don't know. Um, hmm. I don't know about that one. It can't just be them two, can it? Surely. No. Am I missing something here? In the gully. So that's the gully, isn't it? No, I can't see any in the gully there. Unless they're hidden. But yeah, they're the only two I can see at the moment. Now, I was going to continue going up there, but with it being exposed and houses either side, you might get some locals coming out and moaning. However, the gate is wide open, so I'm going to drive back around. I'm going to show you the top of the, uh, basically it's just a mirror image of where I've just been there. So, but, just before I do go, I'm trying to freaking find out where these sensors are in the gully. I mean, they have done some working on drains there. There's some tarmac, tarmac here. 
all this is new. But there's nothing in the gullies that I can see. They're definitely not in them pipes. Them pipes have been here for God knows how long. So unless I'm missing something, I don't know, but I can't see anything in these gullies. And I don't really want to dwell too long in this place because, as I say, it's, uh, it's still not yet open to the public. So, I just have to come down have a quick nose. Apologies anyway for any wind noise, it is rather windy. Train going over there. So this is bridge WJL398, Queen's Drive, Lossley Hill. Lovely original there, uh, like block, block brick, tile brick, whatever you call it. Yeah, so in terms of what they've done, as I say, I did read somewhere that they can't sort the drainage out. However, they just put these sensors in place. Uh, when it floods, when it gets to a certain level, sensors trigger the barriers, barriers come down and hopefully stop the traffic. So that's the general idea of it. But uh, there is, yeah, there's a bit of work being done. I'm no expert, but yeah, I didn't expect um, massive, massive works. But yeah, you can see all new stuff being put in there. There is some sort of drainage being put in, but yeah. There's not really a great deal to report on, other than I don't know when it's going to open. I think they said they're going to open it pretty soon. What they're doing is, they're just gathering evidence. It must be rainfall or something, I don't know or how these barriers work or these sensors work. So, yeah, you can just see some more. But yeah, I remember that night it happened because I actually was getting a couple of buses out of uh, some puddles as well. But when I say puddles, friggin' hell, uh, Springwood, when it meets Matter Avenue, was just like knee deep in water. And we had to wait for the water level to go down before we can get a bus through it. But yeah, bloody hell. When the night this happened, is the worst, some of the worst floods I've ever seen in my lifetime in Liverpool. So, yeah. But as I say, apparently the water was at least 15 foot high just there. So, wowza. So I'm going to make my way back up now to where I got in and uh, hopefully the wind has not destroyed this video and we're going to just drive up here and we're going to just uh, take a look at the other side looking down, possibly walk in as well because as I say it's open access so I don't know why that's left open but uh, anyway let's, um, let's make our way out now, I'll go around the corner and I'll show Here's all what it's like on the other side, just in case anyone does moan and say I broke in. That's the state of play so far. There's that barrier there as well. Right, so we're at the Queen's Drive, Dovedale Road then now. And uh, I'll just show you what it's like up here. So, first of all, we have another Matrix sign, which is just there. Again, apologies for any wind noise. As you can see here, this is wide open. So I'm not going to bother going all the way down because I've just been in there, so, yeah. said that someone's gone through on a bike so we have barrier number two which again like I said before is temporary must have something there for if it's ever broke there's the little solar panel to power it um, yeah so there's not much else to say about it really as I say the signs are still up here road liable to flooding. I tell you what, let's take a walk down, why not? Yeah, 
Now, the night this happened, quite a few days afterwards, I'd say probably about a week after, um, this road was under police protection, and now it's, well, obviously, it's, since then it's been in the, in the hands of the council. So, yeah. As you can see, I don't know where that's going to show on camera, but it's a pretty significant dip, and uh, residents have campaigned for years to get this flooding sorted out, but hence... Uh, no one's listened to them, so it takes two people to die for the council to act on this. So, yeah, pretty lame in my opinion, that. I mean, I've seen this flood many a times, and the water is like, I remember it being just on, like, waist height. And, eh, uh, I would never ever attempt to drive a car down, I tell you that. But yeah, like I said before, this bridge here, 1926. Now, in all my life, or my lifetime of coming down here, I have never ever once noticed any cars go across that, only until the other day, and I'll show you in a minute. I seen a, a van go across it, and I was like, what? I thought it was a rail bridge, so yeah. Don't know when, when it's gonna open. They just said, they're collecting data, as I said, so I'll just get back under this bridge here, and I'll just show you. Take a quick picky. Yeah, so basically we've just come from North Mossley Road down here, and then we're back here, so there's those dingoes. So just before I do go, let me just see if I can find these friggin' sensors. So we know there's two high up, and I just don't know where the other ones are. Are they in the floor? Are they hidden or what? I don't know. Oh well, never mind. They said they're in the gully and there is, as I say, what's the name of them? Whatever it says there. Right, let's make my way back out now anyway. One last little look at this barrier as well. Now, by the looks of that, it only goes across half of the road. Same with the other one down there. So, if they're saying that when this comes down, it's going to stop a car, a car is just going to take its chance and just drive round it and down. So, I think if they were going to install any barriers, I think anyone with half a bloody brain would probably put them both sides of the road. Because that ain't going to stop anyone there, I'm afraid. Right, so just before we go, we are on top of that white bridge. As you can see there, the date stone is just there. And there's... Looking down. Yeah, so there's two roads here, still named as Queen's Drive, that are offshoots from this road here. I always thought of these roads as being dead ends, but uh, nope, they are a continuation of Queen's Drive. I'm just bringing it onto whatever road this is. I can't remember what road it is now, but yeah. Interesting nonetheless. So there you have it. The place is bloody wide open. And as you can see there, cyclists just went flying right past me. So yeah, it's opening pretty soon. They haven't given a date on when it's opening. The council have just said they're collecting data. So they want to make sure it's probably as safe as possible because they don't want any more deaths. If anyone else dies on that road, I can guarantee that road is going to be closed indefinitely. Right, so as I mentioned before, so I was doing a bit of research on the people who died and just basically in general what was happening with that road. And Elaine popped up, Elaine Marco popped up. Now, this is an article from The Echo from 2019, and apparently she stole £72,000 from her disabled brother. And there, it says in this, this uh, article here, Luxury lifestyle of thief who raided their ill brother's savings, but claimed it was just to get her hair done. Now, it's in the public domain. It's no secret, so it's not me saying or accusing. It's uh, just what I've read, and I was quite shocked, actually. So, it's quite a, a lengthy um, article. So, um, she was taken to court, and basically, I don't think she got a sentence as such, but she got something anyway, so... I just thought I'd add it to the end of this video. If you do want to read it, just Google her name 
and it'll pop up in the Echo. As you can see, it is from 2019 there. Just get the camera to focus. So, yeah, it's pretty... Yeah, well, I didn't expect to see that when I was uh, researching this video. So, yeah, um, quite shocked, actually. So, yeah, but anyway... Uh, hang on, what's I say? Yeah, it goes on for ages and ages and ages, the article, so I'm not going to read it all, but I'll link it in the description, by all means, have a little, uh, I'll have a little read. So, yeah, uh, out and about, um, very scarce lately, I haven't been feeling too good. Whatever I've had, a cold, the flu, whatever, uh, it's just wiped me out. So, it's this is Sunday, and I've, I've been, like they say, this since last Sunday, so... I just haven't got any good get up and go with me or nothing like that. I haven't really had to be honest with you as well. Meals are like one a day if that. I used to have four or five meals a day. I'm down to one. So feeling a lot better than last week. Still feeling a bit like crap though. Just not not 100%. So I just thought I'd get out and about today. Go and see me dad. Uh, and have a look at this road. Because I go past it all the time. And it's just... It's always intrigued me. It's always interested me to do a video on it before it opens or after it opens. Either way, I was going to be doing a video on it. So, But as I say, I've just Googled that and um, I thought I'll add it to this video just uh, in case you wanted to know. As always, cheers for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video.